So we have two ellipses. And on the second one, we are just going to add just kind of a bubble to it. Not a very big bubble. This is where the details make the image, really, more than anything. We're going to come in here and we're going to add another line that comes around here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to make that a rounded area, kind of, so kind of round out that top. This is an indention is what this is. So we're going to make it kind of make another indention back to the bottom one. See the little bump? That's all we're doing, making it pregnant. We're going to add ourselves a dot. You want a short line, and you want a line that's a little bit longer. Now, if you wanted, you could take the time to go ahead and start trying to put your numbers in, but we're not going to worry about that so much. This is going to be like a pocket watch, an old-fashioned one. So we have a piece that on my page is actually going to fall off the page. So if you have enough room, you can make it a whole cylinder. If you don't, just that's about what I've got. And this is where they would wind these old watches. From that, mine's going to come off of my page. If you have the room, you can make it a little bit better. This is where our chain connects so that we can put it, clip it to our pocket. And we'll add just one or two links. So we're going to make one that goes this way. And notice that we come in here and add the inside link. So that's kind of a teardrop shape. And you already lips. And then the second one, just take two lines straight down. Okay? And then you make the horseshoe. That's all it is. When we come in here to shade this pocket watch, we're going to have a dark area. This is going to be on the inside of our pocket watch. This is where a lot of times they put pictures. It's not going to be totally pitch black though. This edge, because this is where is the shadow is creating, and then what's going to happen is it's actually going to have a highlight, kind of like that sphere that we did yesterday. So it's going to have a highlight in this area. Go ahead and try to give yourself just a little bit of shading. Don't tap my pencils. I want to make sure these lines are very dominant, so I'm going to darken them. <coughs> Notice I don't darken the whole thing, I just darken those edges. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to darken this edge. Sometimes you don't have to add a lot of shading, you just have to give it that dark edge to give it that crisp look. The watch itself, I'll give you a second, sorry. The bottom where the ground is touching it, of course, is going to be your darkest area because this is flat and it's just going to get lighter as it comes up. And then this crease is going to have some darkness in it as well. This is where the lid, if you shut the lid, the lid would shut. 
And again, you just give it a little bit of darkness. Just drag your pencil along it. Now, even though the face is white, you would still have a little bit of shading. So what I do is grab your, grab your pencil about eraser. Don't grab it too close. And just give yourself some shading on the area that's farthest away from you. Now I'm going to give myself a kind of a dark under area just to create that shadowy effect. And we'll call it quits here. Notice that it doesn't touch the back of the pocket watch. So it's, that tells us that that edge is floating. 